the George Washington Bridge. Now we're up above the little red lighthouse. And we're gonna go across the bridge. And this is where Manhattan Schist, Harlan Schist, dips under the water and then under the diabase and sandstone across the river, which is younger. And looking south at the great Manhattan Island with all its many skyscrapers sitting on top this metamorphic rock that has compressional strength, though it doesn't really have I think it's torsional strength, which is one of the reasons that overhang in Central Park is so impressive. And here we are on the GW Bridge, which I believe at one point they had the idea of cladding this, covering it in red brick, but that didn't happen. So across we go. Next, I'll see you in New Jersey. We're in a bit of a cage on the George Washington Bridge as they're gonna fix up this bike path, I think. But I just wanted to show you when we get to the other side, there is the intrusive volcanic rock called Diabase. And we're gonna go down to that road there and look at it. We're deeper down River Road, further from the George Washington Bridge. You can hear the hum of it in the background. And as we pan down in this shady glade, we can see Diabase with its vertical orientation. But then look below, it comes in contact with a different rock that has horizontal bedding and is the remnant of what had originally been sandstone and shale, but is now a horn fell. And if you look along, you can see where the vertical comes in contact with the horizontal. Coming back down in the same spot, just a little closer, zooming in, we have the point of contact between the diabase and then the metamorphosed by contact metamorphism, Hornfell below. Hornfell because I think it's a German word and I think it has something to do with the texture of the rock being smooth like horn. Horn being the horn of some kind of a animal. And if we just move over, you can see a couple other spots of contact. There you see the big blocky diabase on top of the darker, blacker, horizontally oriented horn fell. We're a little further north on River Road and we come upon another pile of the diabase with its sort of vertical orientation, the way it's been weathered. But then if we scan, span, pan, pan down, we come upon this sort of yellowish rock. Yo, come on by, thank you. This yellowish rock unit which is horizontally bedded and interspersed as we move further north with grayer horizontally bedded units. And this is in, in the beige form, the unmetamorphosed sandstone that the diabase melted into. And then I believe we see some sign of the contact up here in the gray. So that would be contact, that gray unit sort of sticking out a little bit. And then perhaps we have interspersed with the sandstone, which is yellowy, some darker shale, if not more horn fell. So here's what I'm calling the sandstone. Well, let's see if there's any truth in that. So one way to test if you don't have a rock hammer, is to just pick up a chunk and throw it and hope it breaks. There we go, success. So, we bend down and pick the broken bit up. And this is what we were looking at, that yellowish pre-break. Then when we open it up, we see that 
it's definitely light colored and to my eye a bit of sandstone that's perhaps been crystallized a bit by the contact so this time i brought my trusty swiss army knife and i'm going to open up the, the little magnifying glass handy dandy magnifying glass you won't really be able to see but i'll show you at least that with my magnifying glass i was able to look at the structure and i see like lots of little quartz sand um clasts and perhaps some pinky feldspar in there but for the most part it looks pretty much all like a quartz sandstone to me maybe it's been slightly metamorphosed in which case it would be heading towards what kind of rock well then it would be heading towards a quartz site so horizontally bedded sedimentary rock beneath the beautiful diabase of the Palisades Cliffs. So, further north on River Road, looking out at the Hudson River, through the trees, there's the road. And then, this is my last little stop, I think, going north. We see this area where we can see the diabase cliffs and you can know that they have a lot of fissures in them, a lot of cracks. And you can imagine in the winter, water gets in those, freezes and thaws. And lo and behold, probably about three years ago, this whole face of the cliff fell off. And if we can pan down, we might see a few remnants of the boulders in the summer it's hard to see the boulder field that ended up developing at the base of this cliff. And this we call rockfall. And this is a form of weathering that combines freezing and thawing with gravity. The gravity takes the rock down and then splits it up into smaller pieces. Rockfall, how gravity has taken this diabase from the cliff face behind the trees that you can't see and just rolled it down the hill breaking it up as it goes and this is a form of course of weathering and you can see how big some of the chunks that break off are and one wouldn't want to be standing at the bottom of this particular slope when any of these came rolling down another steep slope with rocks that have fallen down but i didn't stop for that at the base of this tree, we have a little bit of the sedimentary rock that may have been metamorphosed. You can see the horizontally bedded layers of that yellowish sandstone and perhaps the gray is a shale interbedded because the environment of deposition changed over time to where larger particles, well oxidized, are being laid down in between periods of much quieter, slower moving water, maybe less oxygen, darker color, doesn't show the um, presence of iron oxide. So a little piece of the bedrock that the diabase, the Palisades Cliffs melted into. So we can see the cliffs just sticking out, a little bare patch, scan down, pan down to the boat basin and over, across the river, is the Henry Hudson Bridge, looking at Inwood Park, Fort Triumph Park with the cloisters, and the West Side Highway, the Henry Hudson Parkway, heading down. There's the GW Bridge, and off in the distance, the skyline. Here we 
we are just going back to New York. I just wanted to show you how they blasted through the diabase here to make the road bed of the bridge. There's the bridge. And here's the diabase right next to us. Actually reinforced with rebar. Reinforcing bars, steel bars sticking out so that the rock face doesn't split off. The Palisades Cliffs. 